This is Take 5 with Bentley, Nevada. In the studio today with me again is Darren Evans, Global Hardware Commercial Leader for Bentley, Nevada. And Darren, as you mentioned last time, uh, heavy focus right now because of the importance of the Orbit 60 platform on that particular product in the portfolio. And we kind of ended our last discussion with the idea of a, a centralized architecture in the new Orbit 60 platform. And if I'm not mistaken, Bentley's made a lot of platforms over the years, but in terms of major platforms, there's been five. And this is the, I think you've been calling this your fifth generation architecture. Is that right? That's correct. And the prior ones, the processing, if you will, for monitoring channels occurred in each monitor module, and they were usually either two or four channels. And with Orbit 60, you've moved away from that, and now you have a central protection processor that handles all the channels. So maybe my first question would be, when we say all the channels, that can be quite a few, right? That's correct, up to 88. 88 channels. And why a centralized architecture? What was it about the older architecture that you felt wasn't going to help you move forward and, and you wanted to go to a centralized architecture instead? Sure. So I think most people, when they think of Bentley Nevada, they refer back to the 3500. And in that system, every four channels of monitoring, they would have a monitoring card that went in the front of the system and then an input card that would go into the back of the system. So essentially you had a processor for every four channels. And with Orbit 60, absolutely, we've moved away from that. Uh, we went to more of a centralized processing approach where you have one processing module that can look at all the inputs coming into the platform. I think fundamentally the first thing is, is technology, right? They're, the technology of processing and processing power that goes behind what's in that PPM monitor, which is the protection processing module, now has the ability to look at a wide variety of different channels and do processing with a lot of channels connected to it. Historically, we had more obstacles around the processing approach just from the technology perspective. And the second was really around how we can reduce the overall investment costs for customers when they deploy these systems. If you think about uh, having processors assigned to every four channels, uh, there's an inherent cost associated with putting that many processors in the rack. And when, with the centralized processing approach, you'll find that the price per channel as you build out the system will go down dramatically over time. I think in another episode, we're going to drill down into that a little bit more, Darren, and we'll talk about, you know, boy, there's a lot writing on that protection processor now if you've got 88 channels. But I can certainly see the advantages, uh, particularly if you're looking at like balance of plant equipment or getting outside of that kind of critical bubble where cost advantages would be significant to be able to put that many channels into a single processor. When you mention, you know, it helps address some of the economics technologically. Why is that? Is that because these input modules can be a little bit simpler in terms of circuitry and, and so forth? Absolutely. So they're basically taking in the inputs from the sensors from the field, simple converter that's in, the sen in that input module and taking that data and transferring it to the back plane. All the processing heavy lifting is being done back at the, uh, the, the protection processing module. And, you know, as you mentioned earlier around the condition monitoring approach versus the protection approach, we really wanted the system to be flexible for both options. So if I want to deploy this system for just, uh, you know, plant-wide type assets or, you know, fans or something that you don't need to do protection on, you can configure the system as such with a single protection processor. Whereas if you have a protection application, we can put many more protection processors in there to achieve redundancy and align with whatever standard that you have. I know the title of these are Take 5, and man, those five minutes goes by really fast. So we're going to have you back in for uh, some more discussions on this centralized architecture. And you have been listening to Take 5 with Bentley Nevada, a Baker Hughes business. 